everyone this is adam from the refinery and this is part one of our new series no game plan um, where we try to embrace the fact um, that although we didn't have a game plan um, for a global pandemic um, god still has plans and i i use that word embrace cautiously because we shouldn't be okay with this moment. Nobody should be enjoying this. If you are, man, um, message me. Let's talk and pray together, okay? Um, but rather, we can embrace the fact that we're not in control. We've never been in control. And if we can move to that place where we stop trying to be in control, we stop trying to um, make a new normal for ourselves, I believe God can move, and I believe God wants to move. Um, so, that being said, what's going on with this? Well, uh, the other day when I was doing some stuff in the house, I put on the TV, I turned on YouTube, and uh, I left the kids in the living room with the TV. I was gone for like five, ten minutes, walking in and out, not really paying attention. And I, I walked in the room, and this video was playing. So, um, two things. One, I used that with permission. Thank you so much, uh, Rockwell Off Road. Um, but secondly, that clip is is from a YouTube video that's like an hour long, and that particular gentleman in the Jeep um, who's stuck in the mud that occurs what you guys just saw for like six minutes total. He doesn't get free. He just digs himself into a deeper, deeper hole. But he tries, and he tries, and he tries. And I saw that, and I was just thinking to myself, man, that's how I feel today. That's how I'm feeling. Like, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to, to do what is right and what is best. I'm trying to figure out how to move forward. Um, but... Man, I'm getting weary. I am getting weary. It doesn't seem like I'm making any progress. And you can't. Like, we don't know what tomorrow's going to look like. We've never known that. But, but now we really understand that, right? There's an uncertainty here. And if we keep trying to make tomorrow happen for ourselves, um, it's just going to weigh on us. So... Uh, it, just maybe, just maybe, some of you are feeling this too. Um, like this whole situation, this uncertainty, has made you start to wear down a little bit. And, and, and you're at the point where maybe you're feeling like, man, you're not even going to try that hard anymore. Or you're, you're kind of over it. You want to move on. Um, what's interesting is that Scripture speaks right to this. So, the, so this is from um, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5 says this as the crowd was pressing in on Jesus to hear God's word he was standing by Lake Gennesaret and he saw two boats at the edge of the lake the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets he got into one of the boats which belonged to Simon and he asked him to put out a little bit from the land then he sat down and was teaching the crowds from the boat when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down your nets for a catch. But listen to what Simon says. Master, Simon replied, We've worked hard all night long and we've caught nothing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets. 
And when they did this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets began to tear. I love this story. I love all these stories. Peter has been fishing all night and they have just been trying and trying and trying to catch some fish and, and they're done. They are absolutely done. And Jesus says, Peter, push out. Let, let, let's go catch some fish. And he's at the same point that a lot of you guys are and he's at the same point that I've been at where it's like for real for real and since it's the voice of Jesus we're like for real God you want me to try this again you want me to speak to this person again you want me to read my Bible again you want me to pray again like I've been doing this Lord I've tried this so many times like like why do you keep asking me? Why do I have to do it? It hasn't done anything for me. But what the Lord pointed out to me, and what I think he wants to point out to you, um, is that even though Peter was weary, okay, even though he complained about working hard up to that point, and he was kind of sick of what he'd been doing, he was willing. He was weary, but willing. And there's a key part to this, right? He, he's not just willing to try again. If, if we keep on doing the same thing, we're going to end up like that guy that you saw a minute ago stuck in the mud. He might be having fun, but, but I guarantee he got frustrated by the end of, of those six minutes. If we, we keep doing what we're doing, we're just going to get more and more weary. The willingness is not to do the same thing again. The willingness is to be obedient to the voice of God. So if Jesus asks you, hey, do this again, and you're feeling weary, he's looking for a willingness despite your weariness. And I want to encourage you, and I want to push you be listening to the voice of God. And if you hear it, if you know, you, even if you don't believe in Jesus, even if for whatever reason you're listening to this and you don't know Christ, I guarantee you've felt your conscience push you in a direction you wouldn't go automatically. That's against your natural inclination. Man, that's probably God nudging you in a new direction. Are you willing? Are you willing despite your weariness? I guarantee, I guarantee, and I believe this is what God wants you all to hear today. If you are willing, despite not having a game plan, despite what's going on in this world, despite being so tired and exhausted because things just aren't working and you can't prepare because you don't know what the worst looks like tomorrow. If you're willing to listen to the voice of Christ, your nets are going to overflow in a way you haven't experienced before. I hope you have a great day. Stay willing. Stay willing. If you're weary, I feel you. In fact, let me pray for you. Father God, Lord, those people out there who hear this message and it resonates that they're feeling tired and exhausted because of this situation, God, I just pray that you push away everything and you make room for you and that your voice is loud. And God, especially right now, if somebody's so weary and, 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 and they've been fighting you, I pray, Lord, that they fully, completely lay themselves down and give their lives over to you. Lord, make it happen. We love you and we trust you. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. Um, uh, if, if, if you stayed through this video, please connect with us. Let us know. Put a comment down below. Click the link that says that you can connect with us, our eConnect cards. Share this video. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Say a bunch of prayers for us. We want to see God move. We believe it will happen in Robinson, Illinois, or wherever you're at, if we are willing. 
don't grow weary doing good. We love you guys. You're awesome. Have a great Sunday.